Hi friends, it's so good to see you again. I'm glad that we could be together today. Today we're going to review the letters Q and R. First, we'll start with letter Q. Letter Q, we learned, says qua, 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 like a queen. Try it with me. Grab your crown. Qua, qua, queen. Qua, qua, queen. Very good. It also says qua, qua, quilt. Today, if we could have come to school, we would have gathered our quilts and our favorite books to have a readathon with a quilt. A quilt is a special blanket that is made with many different pieces of fabric. This is a quilt I made for my daughter Adeline. It has different fabrics in different patterns and shapes that we stitched together and then we sewed it with a needle and thread to hold it tight in place. So when you put pieces of fabric together and stitch it, it's called a qua qua quilt. Qua qua quilt. Letter Q on our worksheet is a quilt. Qua, qua, quilt. First thing I do is always the same. I pick up a marker or a crayon or a pencil and write my name. Kara Lee. Now letter Q for quilt, I'll make a big one first over here. I start just a little below the headline and I go up and over. I close it up. Oh, I didn't do my best. Uh oh, I forgot to go all the way to the foot line. That's okay. I can just make another one. Don't worry if you make a mistake. Making mistakes is part of learning. Now, Q, it looks like an O. I didn't go all the way to the foot line, but I think I forgot something. Hmm, that's right. I can't forget to give Mama Q, uppercase Q, a straw. Up and over, give her a straw, Q. Baby Q, up and over, almost like an A. Give it a tail, but go way down past the foot line to outer space with a qua, qua, quirky tail. Q. Okay, now, this isn't my best, but I'm going to add the straw and make it better. Q. Now, lowercase q, up and over, down, out to outer space, and quirky tail. Up and over, give her a straw, Q. I'm gonna try really hard this time to stay inside the headline and the foot line. Up and over, Give her a straw, Q. Up and over, give her a straw, Q. Remember her straw has to go all the way inside her mouth. Q. Qua, qua, qua. Now lowercase Q, baby Q. Just a little below the midline. Up and over, around, down, quirky tail. Up and over, around, then down like a baby A, but go to outer space, quirky tail. Up and over, around, down to outer space, quirky tail. Q. Q. After you write your cues, you can color your quilt. 
in different colors and patterns, any way you choose. Q, qua, qua, queen, qua, qua, quilt, qua, qua, quirky tail, Q. Now the next letter we're going to work on today is the letter R. I remember its name because I make a pirate hook. Hold up your finger, this hand over here. Now, make a one, but we're not talking about a one or an L. We have to hook it over like a pirate hook. And a pirate says, Arr, matey. The name of the letter can be remembered when you see the little pirate hook. Arr, mateys. Arr, mateys. The name is R. And when you say R, it will help you remember. When you see an angry pirate, the sound of letter R is er, er, rawr. Angry pirates roar, rawr, er, R. Our alphabet magnet is a er, er, ring, er, er, ring. R says very good. Now, if we were at school today, we would curl up under our favorite quilts and snuggle tight, and we would er, er, read. Er, er, read. My favorite story just so happens to be about a pirate. And if we were at school together today, I would read to you. So I'd like to read to you now. One of my favorite stories, How I Became a Pirate by Melinda Long, pictures by David Shannon. Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day when I was at the beach building a sandcastle and minding my own business, a pirate ship sailed into view. I knew what it was because its flag had a skull and crossbones on it and because I could hear the pirates singing, Eh, oh, blow the man down. They were a little bit off key. I tried to tell dad, but he was busy setting up the beach umbrella. I tried to tell mom, but she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sandcastle, but I kept an eye on the pirates. By then they were rowing to shore. When they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Ahoy there, matey! Be this the Spanish man? Uh, no, I said. This is North Beach. Shiver me timbers, the pirate said. We must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. He walked around my sandcastle. He looked at the moat, then yelled back to his crew. He's a digger, he is, and a good one to boot. A good one to boot, the others agreed. What be your name, matey? The head pirate asked. Uh, Jeremy Jacob, sir, I told him. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braidbeard and his crew. We've been needing a digger like yourself. We've a trust of treasure to bury. I treasure, the others shouted. You're coming with us, Braidbeard told me. 
I didn't think mom and dad would mind as long as I got back in time for soccer practice the next day. That's how I became a pirate. As soon as we were on board, Braidbeard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Got to find a safe place for this here treasure. It's high time we were off, he announced. We're off, we all shouted, and then we set sail. There was plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing sea chanties, the louder the better, and to say real pirate stuff like land lubber and scurvy dog. By dinner time, I could speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. Braidbeard pounded his fist on the table and yelled, Down the hatch, me laddies! Down the hatch! We all shouted. Braidbeard gulped his food and said, Hand over the meat! The meat! We all roared. Nobody told us to finish our spinach. There wasn't any. Or to chew up our carrots. They weren't allowed on board. We talked with our mouths full and nobody said please or thank you. After dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Braidbeard kicked the ball and yelled, Arg soccer! Arg soccer! The crew yelled. Then everybody dove for the ball at once and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me arties! Braidbeard commanded. After it, we all whispered. We fought over who would go and get the ball, but it didn't matter anyway because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. So much for soccer. By now, it was past my bedtime, but nobody tells pirates to go to bed, to take a bath, or to brush their teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. Pirates sleep with one eye open, just in case and they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. Pirates don't do anything they don't want to, except for maybe swabbing the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Braidbeard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew cried. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books? I asked. Braidbeard looked confused. Books? I didn't even bother to ask about a good night kiss. It wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when a storm broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I tried to hide under the covers as waves slammed up against the ship but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Lower the sails, Braidbeard shouted. Batten down the hatches. Everybody ran around yelling, lowering and battening. Nobody had time to sit close and tell me it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Just then, Flash, crash, crack. Lightning hit the masts and split it right down the middle. What'll we do now, yelled one of the pirates. We'll have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered Braidbeard. Where will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help, I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. When the storm was over, we rowed back to shore and buried the chest. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again, but I don't think I'll need it. Jeremy Jacobs' backyard. X marks the spot. After the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail, before they left, Braidbeard handed me a flag and said, you make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crew repeated. And if you ever need us, 
Braidbeard added. Just run a Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Up yonder pole, the others shouted. And maybe I will, but not today. I have soccer practice. Pirates have a hook and they say, Rawr! Starts with the letter R. Very good. Now let's practice writing the letter R. On our sheet, we have a cloud that is dripping drops from the sky. Err, err. Rain! Now, letter R begins just like a P. Mama R, straight down. Pop it out like P, upstairs. Mm, I didn't make the straightest back. I'll do better next time. And then I don't even have to pick up my marker. I just kick it out. Down, pop it out upstairs, kick it out, R. Down, pop it out, kick it out, R. Down, pop it out, kick it out, R. I bet you're thinking it's like a P and a K because a K kicks out and so does an R. Upstairs, pop it out, downstairs, kick it out. Down, pop it out, kick it up, R. Down, pop it up, kick it up, R. <gasps> I forgot to write my name. Stop and write your name at the top of your paper. Lowercase r, this is where we make the pirate hook, R. First I go down from the midline, down, back it up. And right when I'm about to hit the midline, I hook it over. R. Down, back up, beep, 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 beep. Hook over, R. Down, back up, meep, 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 meep. Hook over, R. Down, back up, hook over, R. Down, back up, hook over, R. Down, back up, hook over, R. Just before I get all the way to the midline, I make the hook. That's where that little teeny tail comes from. Down, back up, hook over, R. When you're finished, you can color the rain that's falling from the cloud. Er, er, rain. Wonderful. Now. Snuggle up with your favorite quilt, grab your favorite story, and er, er, read. Qu, qu, quilt, er, er, read. It's good to see you, friends. I'll see you next time.